So unfortunately, the life didn't change on a good way for me at the beginning of the pandemic because I got this virus. I was sick for 15 days with 10 days at 40 degrees Celsius temperature, which is 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, I had some cough, I have some difficulty of breathing and even some hallucination overnight. It was uh, an absolute nightmare for 15 days. But it's been three weeks now uh, that it's over and I'm feeling much better. I consider myself about 95, 98% um, recovered, but the most important, I'm not contagious anymore and I'm uh, maybe immune for a few months. So that's a good part of it. But the big change is to be able to stay at home. I embraced this time because I was not a lot, I was not a lot um, at home these last few months. So even if sometimes some days can be long because I would love to go outside because it's very sunny in France at the moment. But no, I just respect the rules and I hope these things will uh, be over very soon. So my time, I, I'm using quite wisely um, because um, I woke up at 7.30. I try to get a, a, a good rhythm um, and, a, and a good schedule of what I have to do during the days because it's not holidays, um, still have to work. So um, I, yeah, I woke up at 7.30, listen to the news, have a breakfast, um, take one hour for doing some gym at home and then check mails, check promo for fables and after this is uh, studio time for the for most of the day and during evening it's a movie or um, series time and that's it. So at the moment I'm working on brand new originals. Um, I've done a, I've just finished a new remix that is going to be out very soon and I'm working on uh, three more collaborations and um, yeah, it's, it's pretty exciting all the trans project I have at the moment. But I'm also working on non trans project, which I love to do as well. It's a good escape and uh, it requires time as well. So yeah, I'm pretty busy at the moment with, uh, with some stuff. And of course, I'm working on my, uh, on my live project as well. So to all the fans out there, just be safe be healthy and be strong mentally. I know we're going through some hard times, um, but we need to beat this virus. So the best way is to respect the rules of your country, because I know most of you guys are locked down. I do the same, it's not easy, um, but I think we're going to beat this, this virus pretty soon. And as soon as all these things is over, we're going to party hard again. So yeah, just be safe and we'll see each other very, very soon. The first things I'm going to do when things will get back to normal, I will rush to a restaurant because um, I think it's really important now to support your, your local shop, your local restaurant because they're going from some hard times as well. And I will, yeah, I will enjoy a nice restaurant on the terrace, having good meals, good drinks, I, I can't wait to do that and I can't wait to ride my bike as well because as I said it's really sunny over France at the moment and it's very frustrating to sometimes to stay at home because I would love to enjoy like the nature. So yeah that's the first things I'm going to do. So my favorite re release of the last 12 months, well I guess it's not a secret for a lot of people, um, it's um, the old Giuseppe Ottaviani works at the moment, remix, originals, his album, brilliant. So um, yeah, I would say um, Why with Clara Yates, Panama, um, Moscow River, just to name a few. But I love all of them. I mean, it's this man has, has such a talent. Um, I mean, it's so impressive to be able to write so, so much amazing and catchy melodies in a row. Uh, which coming up artists we should look at? There are a few, there are a few. Um, I would say the two of my favorites is, um, is Zijaro and Peach for sure, because um, I love their work. 
Um, it's just uh, it's just a trend I like to hear. So um, it's pretty amazing. I would say beat soul as well. Um, I love his in between prog and trance um, sound. So yeah, just keep an eyes on on these guys because um, I think they're going to deliver some pretty amazing uh, some pretty amazing tunes in the in the next few months. What kind of music I'm listening when I'm not in the studio? Um, most of the time, it's uh, score, score movie tracks, Hans Zimmer, and and all this kind of stuff. I listen to some French artists as well, um, and some rock. That's what I'm listening to the most. A funny story about a gig. Well, I have couples, but I would say the. One, one is funny now, when we think about it. it was not funny when it happened. It's uh, when we fell in Manchester, Dan and me, together. Um, we injured ourselves pretty bad, but um, we succeeded somehow to finish our set. Um, that was fun after, even if it could have been uh, very, very dangerous. But yeah, it's, it, now we safe, I would say it was, it was fun to talk about. But I think the most funny part is um, in the UK, um, I think it was for Digital Society and I um, arrived to, at the venue to play and the guy at the door didn't want to let me in. I say, I'm, I have to play now. And he didn't want to let me in. So yeah, that's funny, that's funny. Oh no, I would say, and I have another third story, which is, was really funny as well. It, um, I played back to back with Daniel Candy at Passion long time ago and we were late in uh, choosing our trucks and um, at the time was CDs as well so um, we launched like we the to burn the CDs with all our trucks and the driver was waiting for us so I just took the laptop um, with me uh, still burning the CDs in the, the in in the taxi that uh, drove us to the venue and we just go through the crowd. I had the laptop over my head, still burning CDs, and actually um, in ending to burn, like literally 10 seconds before we started. I took the CD for the laptop, put it in a player, and rock and roll. Uplifting our tech, prog or techno? Why not all of them? 